All right, everybody, what is going on? Needs more drums back in Crestion. I know that some of you guys might have been wanting a uh, episode of um, Stay Movensburg, but sorry to say, I just have not had a lot of time this week, and there are some significant areas of the city that I need to build before I actually am able to get back in that city and you know be ready to record the next episode. And uh, yeah, I'm you know work has been busy. I have a couple projects. Do, uh, this week uh yeah i had one due monday i have one well as of as of when i'm recording this um i had one due a couple days ago i have one coming up uh tomorrow actually so i just haven't had the time to really sit and and build and you know let alone like edit any videos so and uh, this weekend i'm actually going to be out of town for my uh, my little brother is graduating college so super excited for that and um yeah life happens so sorry guys but we're back in this city for now <laughs> hope you hope you all can can live with it but um anyway so yes yeah, so what we're gonna do today we uh we built this little town in this little forestry industry last time and i think you know i'll come back to this i'm not really too set on what i'm gonna do in this spot just yet uh i will say though yeah i, I want to you know kind of i mean this is just like a rough layout so don't don't take any of this you know take all this with a grain of salt i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do with that yet but what I want to do today is work on something that has been just bugging me for the longest time. You know, I feel like we've been slowly been kind of chipping away at some of the areas in the city, some of the suburbs and such. And today I want to do another one of those episodes where we just clean up part of the city. And this is the spot that I want to do. I mean, this, this place just looks awful. There are tons of different styles of buildings in here. I have no idea what's going on. I don't like it at all. Uh, I really just want to make, you know, clean this up, make it look a little bit better. I don't know why there's some random, like, high-density buildings here. This is not going to fly. <laughs> you know? Again, this is just something we did, like, very quickly. And plus, like, you know, the, this is kind of going to be, like, a a little bit of a, of, of a college town. And I want to, you know, make this road right here, you know, a little bit of, a little bit more fun. You know, have a little bit of a some some bars, some nightlife. You know things like that going on here where like inevitably some people that live you know in the campus or close to the campus will go out kind of on on you know you know walk along this road and kind of this will be like a little bit of a destination so i'm thinking that'll be a good idea and then you know thinking about just having like the uh the little college town feel a lot of apartments a lot of uh you know we got this nice park maybe like a lot of apartments a lot of shops and um you know just some some typical suburban sprawl kind of out in here but by the end by the end of this i really want it to be a little bit cleaner than what it is now so we're just going to jump right into it i think i might just do a uh a little time lapse with some music and you know nothing too long but this might be a little bit of a shorter episode once i get done with the editing the build i feel like is going to take me a minute but um you know you guys don't want to see all that so uh that's cool but yeah actually before i start though i did want to bring up something uh kind of unfortunate so as you may have noticed or not noticed, since the patch, there was a, there was a, the prop anarchy mod that I always used so religiously and have used for a long time, just stopped getting updated. And, you know, it was kind of like, it's been around for years. And so the author's kind of, you know, just hasn't updated it. And the problem is uh, that prop anarchy mod also had tree anarchy. Well, they made a, version of prop anarchy that didn't have tree anarchy to kind of like you know it, it was sort of like a like a new version of the mod so to speak and um so all of my trees that were put on buildings got deleted so i kind of had to go through and you know find some that were and you know redownload some mods and kind of make it all work and you know so there might be some gaps in the city where there were some trees like for example like these two trees here were just disappeared but like these were fine because they weren't actually oh uh, they weren't actually in the train station footprint so those were good but like yeah i know i put like some trees you know like these two right here i know i put some more kind of along the front here and they're just they're gone as you can see so i'm gonna have to go through and kind of figure that out but for, for the time being just uh if you see any like really bare spots just that's why it's because i've had to kind of go through and like update some of my mods and the new tree uh, the new tree anarchy mod i will say though it does have a lot of features it's um i think it's called i think it is just called 
either tree anarchy or tree control, something like that. But either way, it uh it combines a bunch of features from a bunch of different mods, like unlimited trees mod, lock forestry that I was talking about in the last episode that helps you, you know, your forestry resources, um, tree rotation, just all of that stuff is all kind of encompassed in this mod. So it's like, you know, one mod will replace like nine and <laughs> that's that's always i'm always a big fan of that so um yeah with that being said let's just go ahead and jump into the build and let's see what happens
And so this is what we've built. Didn't get everything done that I wanted to, but close enough. Yeah, the only thing that I have left is I'm still trying to figure out, you know, the best kind of buildings to put here in this little area. I'm thinking, you know, some a combination of a little bit higher density commercial and a little bit higher density residential, because what I wanted to do here was kind of, you know, similar to where I went to college, close to the campus. Now there's a lot of bigger, higher density apartment buildings going up because, you know, they want to attract more students close to the campus and, you know, be, be able to put a lot of people within walking distance. So I imagine something like that is kind of going on here. You know, some of these buildings closer to the campus, you know, these areas have kind of been built up and a little bit more developed so that students can live close to the campus, be within walking distance of everything. And, you know, it's, it's probably a little bit newer, uh, you know, done within the more like uh, more, more in the past 10 or 20 years or so, as opposed to, you know, being like some other buildings. But obviously we still have the, uh, the suburbs, you know, very close by. And I'd imagine that a lot of students also live in these houses. Oh, Hey, cool. Nice. We unlocked a new area. Awesome. Cool. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so that'll be for next time, but yeah, it, speaking of next time in the next episode, I would like to finish up this little spot here and I might spend just one more episode kind of down here in the city. I think like this spot right here could use a little bit of love and, uh, you know, making this a little bit better, putting some, uh, some new buildings over here and kind of making this area. Uh, a little bit better developed this. I want to I want to save the whole downtown for, you know, that's going to be a little bit further down the road, but uh, definitely going to, you know, think about that. So all of you who are waiting for the downtown, it's coming. Uh, I just wanted to get a little bit bigger of a population, get a little more, you know, industries and other areas established before I actually spend some time in the downtown. But yeah, so I'm happy with how this turned out. Uh, I know all the buildings kind of, you know, look the same. I use the same type, but whatever. It's just for the effect. And, you know, it, it gives a good clean suburban look. And, you know, as always put down some trees and I like this little pathway kind of along the river. I didn't really know what to do in terms of, you know, putting houses along here. So I just thought this would be a nice little, little path that people could take all the way up the river through these suburban areas, you know, and this, all these neighborhoods are going to be having a nice little, uh, a little scenic route to take if they, if they so please. So yeah. I like that. I'm happy with it. And um, I think I am going to call it an episode there as all these buildings are leveling up, which is awesome. But yeah, thank you so much to all of you for watching. I know that this week, you know, every day I've been getting a couple more subscribers. So if you like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you want to see anything particular in the city, as always, naming suggestions are appreciated. And uh, you know, I'm very open to any other suggestions that you may have. So please leave a comment below. I really love hearing from you guys and, um, I will see you in the next one. Hope y'all have a great week and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.